Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today, well, I have the honor to taste the Chivas Royal Salute 21 years old, 40%. And this is a really pleasure for me and this is <laughs> what a senior taster does. He picks his bottles he likes most and I have to place a disclaimer here. I'm a fan of Chivas and especially the older Chivas starting at 18 years going up to 21 year olds. This, this one costs around 110 here in Central Europe and the 25, mm, yeah, that's a wonderful whiskey. Costs even the, double the price for just four years more, but the content is a little bit different. The content is typically the, one of the lead malls is Strathyla and Strathyla was one of the first distilleries I had single malt whiskies from and I am a fan of Strathyla as well. So this is where my passion for the Royal Salute comes from. And here I show the bottle first. It's a porcelain bottle in royal blue where the color is uh, derived from the from one of the gems from the imperial crown. Yeah, so royal means has something to do with the crown. And here I'm reading from the backside. Royal Salute was created to mark the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II and has since been the official partner of all ceremonial royal gun salutes fired at the Tower of London. The Queen was crowned, I think, in 1953 and very soon she will have the 70th anniversary crown jubilee. In honor of the British monarchy, the signature blend is a sophisticated and opulent in character. The blend is the result of selection of rare and exceptional Scotch whiskies, including precious whiskies carefully watched over at the Royal Salute Vault, wherever that is, designed to create the perfect expression, with notes of ripened fruits complemented by hints of spices, even drop carries every drop. So this is golden on a texture blue. It's very difficult because the writing is not that sharp. Um, Royal Salute, uh, every drop carries a powerful and remarkable experience. The elegant blend is housed in a beautiful crafted porcelain flagon glazed in a sapphire blue hue, a reminiscent of the precious stones set within the imperial state crown. After patiently maturing for a minimum of 21 years, only the finest Scotch whiskies have been hand selected to regale the senses with this rich, round and velvety smooth blend. Sandy Hislop. I think she's one of the master blenders. Yeah, so one of the lead malls is uh, Strathyla and there had been quite a group of distilleries especially built for the Chivas brands, <laughs> blends and brands. And um, there is the Braz of Glenlivet, uh, then Glen Grant, I think, was built for them, and several others like Benriach, I think, had been a distillery as well. And this is really, it gives you a, a treasure. There's a metal, not full metal, but uh, Cladded metal with a cork. Fruity. Yeah. So Strathyla, where the lead malt for the Chivas comes from, is a distillery not in the Speyside, but in the eastern highlands. So it is quite close to the Speyside, so that the taste of the whiskies is, is very close to the Speyside whiskey. And South Isla has a lot of sherry casks for their maturation and uh, this will result in the final composition and uh, those high-end blended malts, not blended malts, high-end blended whiskies uh, from Chivas, they tend to be close to a blended malt, only a small percentage, like 20% something, I don't know exactly, are grain whiskies just for giving a smoother 
uh, appearance in your mouth. So, so very elegant, rounded, fruity, sherry cask, definitely sweet, light nuttiness, and probably, probably a hint of smokiness, but not really much. No, not really. No. So very smooth, very elegant, very round and full massive. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Mm. There is this light oily texture of a grain whiskey in it, but not too much. The malt is definitely dominant in this one and it's rounded, brings your mouth full, very soft, long and in the very very late aftertaste you get this light chocolate note due to 21 years of maturation also in sherry cask. This is not 100% uh, malt from sherry cask but there is a decent amount of sherry cask whiskies in the malt whiskies as well. So here you can guess or I can guess that you will find more than a dozen different malt whiskies in this one. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever you want to give yourself a favor for your birthday, for a special purpose, just have one of these bottles. It brings you a, a wonderful uh, porcelaine decanter. The card box is not that well done. It's a little bit too weak, so uh, it is not that stable in it. But on the inside, uh, you get those wonderful animals, and those animals uh, are derived from the animals which, well, patrol in the tower since centuries. And the artist, the fine artist, uh, was in her name, Christiana S. Williams, award-winning fine artist and creator of fantastic art, fantastical artwork. Yeah, and here the, the, uh, it was not stable enough uh, to carry it, but the bottle itself, it's so wonderful. And most often <laughs> this card box is too high for your cabinet. So I avoid uh, storing the card box, but keep this wonderful porcelain bottle. This will now go, go into the fundus. No, no, that's for me. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.